there are new ways for kids to get creative with Crayola. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM here with two fun new arts and crafts kits from Crayola. Add some shimmer to your artwork with the Crayola Sparkle Crayon Melter and shake up traditional drawing and coloring with the Crayola Sprinkle Art Shaker. And we've reviewed even more fun Crayola toys, so make sure to click the subscribe button below to see them. Both of these products are really fun, and after you've watched this video, I'd love for you to tell me which one you like best in the comments below. I'm going to start with the Sparkle Crayon Melter, which is basically the original crayon melter, but with metallic crayons. You get eight of them, along with the melter that plugs into the wall, and some practice and coloring pages. The included crayons don't have paper labels on them, but if you're using crayons from home, use the included label cutter to peel off the paper. Then break the crayons into small pieces and pop those pieces through the flaps of the melter. When you plug in the melter, the LED light will turn green when it's ready to go. Hold the melter upright with the tip flat on the paper and start drawing. You can draw on printer paper, construction paper, ceramic, and craft wood. One of the included paper sheets is a practice sheet, so you can practice making dots, straight lines, squiggly lines, and shapes. It's a great way to get started and understand all the cool things you can do with the Sparkle Crayon Melter. Even though melting the metallic crayons look cool, you can use this with regular crayons too, so I think this would be a fun way to give second life to old crayons. Let me go ahead and give the pros for this one. Melting the crayons is easy, and kids ages eight and up will like watching the solid crayons become a waxy liquid. The finished artwork has a cool texture once dry. I don't have any cons for this, so I'm giving it four and a half stars. Now on to the Sprinkle Art Shaker. It comes with six tubes of glue and five colors of non-edible sprinkles. Don't worry, the sprinkles stay inside the shaker unit. Sometimes, I'll get to that. The first thing you're going to do is insert one of the 12 design sheets or another piece of paper into the shaker unit. Use the bands to hold down the paper at the edges. Then squeeze glue onto the gray lines where you want the first color to go. Pick your sprinkle color, uncap the bottle, and insert it into the funnel. Close the shaker unit lid and make sure you hear it snap. The sprinkles will flow out of the bottle when you tilt the shaker, and then you just shake the unit in all directions until the sprinkles cover the glue. You can reuse any sprinkles that didn't stick by tilting the shaker unit and guiding the sprinkles back through the funnel and into the bottle. Just keep repeating those steps with other sprinkle colors until your art is complete. Remove the finished artwork and insert another design sheet to do it all over again. This definitely gives kids ages five and up another way to get creative with coloring. I think this since kids are basically using the sprinkles to outline the printed images on the coloring pages, they could first color in the pictures using Crayola crayons or markers, and then add the sprinkles to give their artwork texture and dimension. The pros of this toy are the fun look of the sprinkles and the 3D quality the sprinkles give to kids' artwork. It's also fun to listen to the sprinkles shake around inside the unit. The only con is that sometimes sprinkles may still find their way onto the floor. Be careful when removing the sprinkle bottles from the unit and make sure you clean up stray sprinkles after play. I give this toy four stars. For where to buy in current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more reviews every day.